We know that modulus of x is equal to plus x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and is equal to minus x otherwise. Therefore, fx, which is equal to sine of modulus of x minus modulus of x, is equal to sine x minus x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and is equal to minus sine x plus x when x is less than 0. Therefore, the right hand derivative of fx at x is equal to 0 is equal to the limit of f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 divided by h as h tends to 0 from the positive side. This is equal to the limit h tending to 0 from the positive side f of h minus f of 0 divided by h. Now f of 0 is equal to sine of 0 minus 0 which is equal to 0. Therefore, this is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 from the positive side sin h minus h in the numerator divided by h. This can be written as limit h tending to 0 from the positive side sin h upon h minus 1. Now, as h tends to 0, sin h upon h tends to 1 and therefore, the value of the right hand derivative is equal to 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0. Similarly, the left hand derivative at x is equal to 0 is equal to limit of f of 0 minus h minus f of 0 divided by 0 minus h minus 0 as h tends to 0 from the positive side. This is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 from the positive side f of minus h minus f of 0 which is equal to 0 divided by minus h. This is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 from the positive side. The numerator is minus sin h plus h and the denominator is minus h. This can be written as limit h tending to 0 from the positive side sin h upon h minus 1. Now when h tends to 0 sin h upon h tends to 1 and therefore the value of the left hand derivative is equal to 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0. Therefore, the right hand derivative of fx at x is equal to 0 is equal to the left hand derivative of fx at x is equal to 0. This implies that fx is differentiable at x is equal to 0, which is the required result.